I literally can't tell the difference. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a chemist warehouse haul. So this is the box. We're gonna see what's inside. I spent $156. I mainly wanted to try the Emco Beauty Fragrance Mist. Intrigued to see how they smell and if they smell similar to the Sol de Janeiro ones because I've heard they're pretty much the exact same. We'll be testing that out at the end of the video. Let's get into the package. What's in here? I got the L'Oreal Panorama Mascara. This one had really good reviews and was on sale, so I thought I'd try it out. Currently, I use the NARS Climax Mascara, which I think is great, but I just wanted to try out a different mascara. Love the packaging of this one. It's super cute. This mascara was $19.69, so better bloody be good. Next, I got the L'Oreal True Match in Very Pale. <laughs> I got it in the shade I got it in the shade 1N Ivory. Usually I get like a Tarte mascara, but things are just getting so expensive these days. I thought I'd just try a drugstore concealer, see how I go with it. This was $15.39. Next, I got the La Roche Posay Barrier Repairing Balm. I'm keen to try this. I've heard some good things about it. So this lip balm was $13.39. Next, I got my all-time favorite product at the moment. It is the La Roche Posay 50 Plus Invisible Fluid. I use this pretty much every single day. Just finished my first bottle and I'm on to my second. I got this for $25.99. It's usually like $37.38 elsewhere, so it's pretty damn good for that. I feel like it's such a tiny bottle, but it definitely lasts. Next, I just got a two pack of Swiss Fizz makeup rounds because I'm running low so that was just a necessity purchase I also got these pimple patches to try out I don't think I've ever tried out a pimple patch I do still get the occasional pimple so I thought it'd just be good to keep this one handy in case I get a big old pimple so they are the skin control pimple patch for overnight wear made with tea tree. This was $5.99 for 24 patches which I think is pretty good. The next thing I got is the Moo Goo Natural Fresh Cream Deodorant. 100% aluminium free and fragrance free. I'm trying to get off the mainstream deodorants like Dove and Rexona. And I've tried a couple of different brands and some are really nice but I just feel like nothing truly works. I do love the Rio de Janeiro. I love to put that one on at night but I feel like it just doesn't work for during the day. So yeah, I'm really keen to give this one a go and see how it works. And it was only $7.49. This isn't on my receipt for some reason, but I definitely remember purchasing it. So I wanted to try out a new mouthwash, so I got the Thera Breath Oral Rinse. This was around $17. <sighs> Not too cheap, but I don't know, I'm excited to try this out. I feel like I've seen a few people use this. I'm kind of like keen to taste it, like invigorating icy mint that just sounds so appealing. Obviously, I'm not going to drink it, but, you know, use it. And then the absolute star of the show. I got three of the Emco Beauty Hair and Body Fragrance Mists. So I'm excited to try those. So these were on special for $14.99 each. So I got their number two, which is the Salted Caramel and Pistachio. Next, I got the number their number four, which is vanilla and macadamia. And then I got number one, which is black plum and vanilla. I didn't get them all. I didn't get number three because I'm not a huge fan of the Sol de Janeiro scent that it's duped from. So these are the Sol de Janeiro ones. And then these are the Emco Beauty ones that look super similar. Only full size Sol de Janeiro one I have is this one, which is the Vanilla and Macadamia. That's them side by side. They're both 90 mil. They're both Vanilla and Macadamia. And they're a hair and body fragrance mist. So this one is made in the US and this one is actually made in China. All right, this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna spray the original first. Mm hmm love it and now you're gonna get my reaction of the jute okay let's see if it smells like it oh my god okay oh wow that's pretty similar
Wow, that is super similar. <coughs> so I made these little like scent tester card things because I feel like when I sprayed them before they smell so similar that they kind of just mixed together in this room and maybe I can test to see if one lasts longer than the other. But yeah, first impression, they smell very similar. I feel like the Emco one is slightly different. It's like more buttery. I don't really know how to explain it. But I'm going to spray them on these cards now. So this is the Enco Beauty one. Yeah, it's giving like jelly belly butter popcorn vibes. Oh my god. They smell so similar though. First impression is they've done really well at duping the scent. This one is $38. And never goes on sale. This Emco Beauty one is usually $20 but I got it for $14.99 so pretty much half the price for very similar scent. So next we're going to be comparing Rio de Janeiro number 40 and Emco Beauty number one. So this is the black plum and vanilla. So unfortunately I don't have a full size of this one because I got this in the Mecca Beauty loop. I haven't purchased a full size, but I do love this one. As you can see, I've got like a quarter left of it. So this one is the Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. And the Emco Beauty one is just called Black Plum and Vanilla. Scent cards again. So first we'll spray the Sol de Janeiro. <sighs> love that one so much. <laughs> Now we're going to spray the Emco Beauty one. I do take a while to like. Okay. Ooh. Definitely similar, but the Sol de Janeiro one I feel like is a bit sweeter. I don't find these smell as similar as the last scent. Um, I definitely prefer Sol de Janeiro one. It's definitely more sweeter whereas this is more like it's a bit of like a darker warmer scent whereas this is more of like a sweeter scent. Taking you guys on a journey into another room. All right I needed a fresh new room because that room's starting to smell like all the scents that blended together and it's just not ideal. I don't think it's good to breathe in that much fragrance at once. So welcome to my bathroom where we will be trying the last scent that I picked up, which is the Enco Beauty number no. two, Salted Caramel and Pistachio. We're gonna be comparing it to the Sol de Janeiro 62 Pistachio and Salted Caramel. Spray the Sol de Janeiro one first. Mm. I do like that one. Moment of truth, Enco Beauty. Ooh, I literally can't tell the difference. <laughs> Wait, that is like literally the same. I swear to God. Okay, that's probably the closest match so far. They nailed that one. All right, so the Emco Beauty number two, Salted Caramel and Pistachio, is definitely the winner in that little test. I would say these smell pretty much identical. I would definitely save my money and buy this one. Bottle. Where's the other little bottle? The second best was the number four, which is the vanilla and macadamia. And then number one, it definitely smells similar to the original one, but there's just something about it that definitely tell apart the original from the dupe. So I probably would go ahead and just like repurchase the original instead. But yeah, for the other two, I highly recommend if you want, you want to smell like the original, but not pay the price. Alright, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini chemist warehouse haul and dupe fragrance testing. I'm really glad I got to try these out. It's honestly so crazy how similar these products are. I can't believe Emco Beauty can sort of dupe a product so closely like that. Um, it's crazy to me. But yeah, I've had fun doing this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.